tidy. Right, magic in our way over to my world, is it? Hmm, now let's see. What is it? You got a wand somewhere by here? We can't go casting spells without a wand now, can we? A wand? Why would we have a wand? Oh, that's a pain. Ah, well, can't be helped. We'll just have to look for one outside. Huh? We won't find one out there either. Don't nitpick, crybaby Bunting. Bunting? My name is Oliver. Oliver. Ah, so the crybaby bit was right, at least, was it? Ah. <sighs> Right ho, time to find ourselves a magic wand. You mean there's one hidden around here? Like a spell book? You haven't laughed, you think you're gonna make it that easy? Hmm. Who do you think I am? Made of wizarding equipment? No, one's going to be a little more difficult. This one's going to be a little more difficult, but it journeys over to my world is a hunt for the soul snare, among other things. So why don't you treat this as a warm up? The Easter egg hunt before the wild goose chase, if you will. The... huh? Okay, I guess. Okay, I'm lying. These things have never brought a wand with me, okay? I mean, look at me. Piece of... The price of lovability is my small stature, eh? The only man to carry the flipping book, man. And more? I'd... Any more and I'd be crushed. Really? A wand is not that big. It's like a little stick or something. So, even fairies tell lies, huh? Of course they do. Us fairies are incredible liars. Anyway, no point crying over spell milk. Let's find ourselves a suitable substitute, shall we? A substitute? How can there be a substitute for a magic wand? Well, you can find something brown and sticky, like maybe a stick. You might uh, just be able to muddle through. Uh, okay. You sure a stick would work? Do you think I'm sending you up the garden path or something? Fine. I give you a hand. Follow me. No, dude. Hey, what are you looking at? Don't tell me you think you're using a lamppost as a flipping wand. Well, you can cut that out for a start. It's way too flipping big. Uh, we need a stick. What's he going to look at next? This one's a pretty tidy motor, eh? Might get myself one of these. I'm um, sorry. Don't really have time for this. Uh, is there anything wand-like over by here, either? On the side, shall we look? Find something, don't forget to stop. Uh, look at the top main menu, you'll see you have a bottomless bag. Most useful thing ever. Wish I had one in real life. And there you'll find yourself items nicely sorted into different categories. Eleanor to switch through categories, and anyway. Next time you pocket a tidy item, be sure to have a closer look at it in your bottomless bag. Put it in your bag, sure. And I have my bottomless bag now. As you can see on the mini map, there is a star, so I don't really have to worry. Where does it say to go? It's no use, there's nothing around here that looks like a wand. You're not wa wrong, Bunting. Alright, we'd better split up and then broaden the search. I'll go take another look around your house. You stay out here and head up the search. Okay. Brown sticky, brown sticky. There's a tree in front of you, snap a bit off. Oliver? Huh? Oh, it's you. Snap a branch off the tree. You're you're the little girl I met before, huh? Mm-hmm. We met before. Wait, so how do you know who I am? I'm really, really sorry, Oliver. Huh? Your mummy. I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. Huh? I don't... Why would you be sorry for that? I wanted to save her. I really did. Huh? Hey, wait. Where are you... going? Hey, where did you go? Ollie boy, why are you talking to thin air? Mr. Drippy, she disappeared again. 
Huh? Who did? That strange girl. That's the second time she tried to talk to me. What's that? A girl? Where? You're right about strange. I can't see her any flipping where. Well, how could you? She disappeared into thin air. Well, anyway, there's something I want to ask you. There is? Uh, sure, go ahead. Do you mind it? You know, having a sidekick, like. Huh? A sidekick? Who do you mean? Crikey, that's cold. Who do you mean, he says? Why not stab me in the heart while you're at it? I mean me! I wanted to know if it was all right me joining you on your adventures. Or if you were maybe wanting to trade me in for a younger, prettier model. But it looks like I got my answer, huh? Well, so you know, if you don't have faith in people, you'll never see their true worth. And what's more? Look at this. Huh? It was on the ground, right where that girl was standing. Chuck it here, then. Ta. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's a wand. You mean it? A real wand? Come over by here and take a look, man. It might seem like any old stick, but it's got all magic writing on it, see? It does, huh? Wow. Is that how people ride in your world? The rooms are all faded, so it might have lost a bit of power. But, for our current purposes, it's a beauty. Neato! What a stroke of luck. Luckier than you know, Ollie boy. Dude, I never thought we'd actually find one. Do you think maybe that girl brought it here for me? You obtained an old stick. Not a wand, but an old stick. Right! Now we need a place to cast our spell. To cast Gateway, you need somewhere proper massive. You need space to give it oomph, see? Do we really need that much oomph? Yeah, what kind of question is that? Magic is special, innit? It's sacred, right? You have to cast spells in the best environment possible. You really are new to this, aren't you? This is beginner stuff we're talking about here. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, take me somewhere with plenty of space. It's got to be somewhere around by you. Um, the town square, I guess. So, off to the town square we go. It's off the screen up there, it's a new area. So you get to see somewhere new. I wonder if anyone can see this fellow. You, lady! Do you see the little fellow behind me? I just love to walk out to die. Are you walking out? Okay, you don't see the little fella. Go to my screen, there's someone there. There! The young Oliver, what are you doing, dear? It's dark already, run along home. Okay, no! Trying to run me over, you crazy maniac! It's not like I jaywalk in any way, shape, or form. Careful. Do you really think we should be doing this here? No worries, man. Normal people can't see magic, see? Go on, Ollie boy, cast gateway. Um. Fine, gateway. <gasps> That's it, man, you got it! Shunting, crybaby bunting. For the last time, it's Oliver! Hey, it's not bad work for a crybaby, this. Ugh. Do we get to see the adorable little creatures again? I think I do, even though they're not that little. Yes, 
So cute. Right. Let's get going, shall we? Nope. So this is your world. Ah, home at last. But there's a tidy way to go yet. Hey, Mr. Drippy, that was pretty neat just now, huh? Oh, that herd of elk. Enjoy your first encounter with the majestic wildlife of our mysterious world, did you? Uh-huh. Huh? Jeepers. Oh, Nickers, where did he spring from? Huh? Ah! What do we do? He's not like the big softies just now. He's itching for a fight. Proper savage. Let's run away. No, use that stick you got by there. Give him a whacking and send him packing. Uh, really? Uh, it's a stick versus uh, a mini lion. Look lively. He's making his move. Yeah, and then he just slowly trots across to me. He's called Rough. Let's go. Fine, let's attack. Don't fret, Ollie boy. Let your old pal Drippy talk you through the basics of battle. First off, take a look at the Greek age there. It shows off health points. You have health. The healthier you are, the more HP you have, the healthier you are. But if you run out, you'll go unconscious. Oh no! You can't die in this game. Uh, it just. Oh, according to that, you can't die, you just go unconscious. But oh well. Uh, as you see, the blue gauge underneath that, that is your magic points. Don't worry about magic for now. Uh, let's just talk about. Beasties first, shall we? All your enemies appear on the right. Red gaze shows their HP. Get that down to nothing, and you've won. These speech rolls are down by here are commands you can use in battle. Well, that's enough going on with trying, so let's just smack it with a stick. It's like attack. To confirm your choice, press X, and Bob's your uncle. Right, oh, get cracking. Fine. X. On you. Poke. Oh, tidy, or should I say nice. Uh, that's when you find the enemy's weak spot or block a big attack. And it dropped something. Best pick it up. Fine. Uh, known as a glim. Uh, enemies drop them in the heat of battle. Glim. Green glims are the ones that uh, will restore HP. Blue give you back MP. Oh, you can also give your HP and MP a boost with spells and items. Of course, you'll have to take my word for that with not having any at the mo. Okie dokie, that's enough for me. It's time for me to practice what I pre preach. Go on. Go on, boy. Bash him. Come on, let me poke you. Poke. Yay! Again, half a level of that. Awesome. And 3G. Well, hey, I'm on a mobile network. Jeepers, creepers. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Our world is absolutely riddled with beasties. But keep that up and you'll have nothing to worry about. Right, let's get a move on, shall we? Sure, nope. Mr. Drippy. But where are we going? Well, first off, we need to get you a wand. But I already have a wand. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? That thing's about as magical as a flipping cabbage. You might just squeeze a gateway spell out of it, but you can forget about anything more than that. Honestly, I wish you'd think before you open your mouth. Oh, uh, sorry. Now, I told you Ding Dong Dell was just over by yonder, didn't I? Well, if we're very lucky, we might find a wand with a bit more oomph down by there. So, are wands really so hard to find here? Well, time was you couldn't move for the flipping things. But since Shadar showed up, magic's taken a real nosedive. He banned people from using it, see? Cursed anyone who tried to. He scared them all so much, they gave it up. So, he's pretty scary, huh? Well, he turned me into a flipping doll, didn't he? Just saying his name's enough to make most folks brick it. Still, I'd rather be a doll than have him go poking round in my heart. No one wants to be broken-hearted. Broken-hearted? Like... Sad? Worse than that. Much worse. It's when he steals a piece of a person's heart. Poor beggars don't know whether they're alive or dead. That's no way to live, man. So that's why they're all so scared of him, huh? We can't let him go on doing this. 
Well, it's not a matter of letting him, is it? It's not like people flipping enjoy it. That's why I brought you here, innit? You might just be able to stop him, see? You really think I can? Of course you can! You are the pure-hearted one! And the legends say that the pure-hearted one will drive away the darkness! We'll teach you a few tasty spells and you'll be ready to face him in no time! Sound good to you? Okay, I'll do it. I'll learn magic. Of course you will! And that's why we need to find you a better wand! All right. Let's head for Ding Dong Dell. Tidy! Strange little creature. Anyway, do I actually get control now? Yes, I'm at the world map. Beautiful alley boy, and it's good to be back. Our world is riddled with monsters. Uh, if you get a question mark, pop over its head, it'll charge. But it only has a radius, I'll say that now. Basically, it'll only chase you a little bit, then it'll stop, and then you wait for it to turn around, you can just back attack it, it's easy enough. When it gets within touching distance, you'll have to fight on your hands. If you run out of HP in the middle of battle, you'll be out for the count, so be careful. A little tie technique. If you sneak up behind monsters with that without them noticing, you can get the first hit in. Gives you the upper hand. Only thing is it works the other way around too, if your monster sneaks up on you. Three loaves of bread, they have HP. What do I do with these? Just have a munch when you're feeling a bit ropey. Uh, wizards can't live on bread alone. Oh, yes, and that's Ding Dong Dale. Fine, let's get going. I reckon we'll find ourselves a wand there. So let's get moving, shall we? Okay. First things first, this glittery bit here. Wait, no, no, no. Go away. There we go. Bunch of shooters. Thing seems to be following me. There is another harvest point up there. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to leave the game here for now. I'll, I'll stand on the other side of this brick. There's something I've got to tell me, what? Uh, you can change your viewpoint. I've been doing that. Uh, change your settings, blah blah blah. Switch vibration, on and off. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, I'm going to save myself on this bridge. Uh, save. Make myself a new slot. You want to save this data? Yes. And I will say thank you very much for watching me up to, to so far. I do apologise for the amount of cutscenes there have been. But we will get down to a lot when we get back. Uh, just to let you know, off screen, I am going to gather that bit up there off screen. Possibly do a little fighting. I'm going to gather that there. Um, there's a few things. Basically, there's a couple of gathering points about, and they're the main thing I want to get. I don't think there's any more. Or well, not to my knowledge, anyway. And they don't appear on the map, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is the entire area, if you're actually wondering. And then there's a forest place down the bottom. Um, I think that's about it. There's something to the left there that looks like a hot spring, I'd guess, on the far left. But anyway, yeah, I don't really know. This is about as far, all I've, as far as I've got in the game is all I've done is actually got into Ding Dong Dell. That's as far as I've got. So I'm basically near the point where we got to anyway. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time or whatever you watch. Next time on Nino Kuni. Come on, give me tentacles. And what about you? Anything? Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles. Little fella seems kind of happy. Oh, shut up. Enjoy a blade to the noggin.